Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before 4 Diesel. A couple of things I want to cover in this video. Um, the main one is um, injector test report. Okay, so here basically what we've got is we've got four seats and a couple of internal parts from inside a set of injectors that were returned to us. So once again, I'll remind you again, if you do buy injectors off us, we don't require the old injectors back. That's not a, a requirement but we do ask for them back. It is handy if you send them back to us because we strip them down. We do, look, we check a lot of things with them and that's how we learn about them and we're, so we're able to give you this information now. Uh, these injectors were built in 2012 and they were in a 2012 vehicle, which is a little bit unusual. Normally the injectors are a bit older than the vehicle, but that's okay. Um, but consistency is what we're seeing. With people that have returned injectors that have done anything from 130 to 250,000 Ks, sort of complaining they're a bit noisy and they are full DLCs as well, which look, they wear a lot better. All the old wearing internal parts, we've mentioned this before, you know, on the command piston here, which was a big problem, injector sliding malfunction, um, doesn't seem to be happening. We're not getting that. You don't get the bad readings with these injectors like the old ones sort of thing. So you gotta be careful trusting diagnostics. Again, another video, but what I've said recently, I've said in a couple of videos, but I'm just gonna say it again, say it again, because that's what we've got to do. Um, I'm pretty sure when you went to school the teacher didn't teach you maths 2 plus 2 is 4 in one day. Took a few days till you got it, but anyway, back then this stuff's a little bit harder, but it's pretty easy as well, right? Those nozzle needles, see that's what's wearing. On those, I don't know if you can see it in the video, I'm just going to leave it like that. Look, you know, I'll mess around with it a little bit. I'll shine a bit of light for a minute, you know, see if that does anything. But those four little nozzle needles, all four of them have got, um, wear on the little tips there right so <clears throat> that's what we're seeing everything else is awesome like as far as this section goes the dlc code whatever it's awesome but it looks like that's what's going to wear so if you've got look we don't want to waste injectors we don't want you worrying and replacing injectors oh it's noisy whatever right so we don't certainly don't want to do and replace injectors before they're due so if you've got something under 150 170,000 k's have a talk to me first if you need to, you know, we'll talk about what year, what, what whatever, and, you know, whether you're going to... There's a lot of factors that de determine when you should probably replace these injectors. Look, we don't want to leave them in there too long and have, you know, the worst case scenario kaput, but we don't want to waste injectors and be just throwing injectors. These were worth replacing. We can see the wear on the nozzles. 177,000 Ks, if I remember correctly. Um, Chris, these are yours. I won't say any further than that because some people want to be private. Feel free if you want to comment later on or whatever, but... Look, one other thing I want to mention as well, and the seats, the consistency of the seats. Look, you know, we've seen a few of them, you know, we've got a whole bucket full here, you can see those. But, um, so we, we know how long they're going to last. We know what works and what doesn't, what materials, you know, what torque specs, whether they've been cleaned or not. These ones look fairly original. I'm going to turn them over in a minute. They are starting to erode away in the inside, in the centre of those seats. Um, the good news with this set, when you send your injectors back to me, you get a free contamination check. Please, guys, don't try and pull these apart. I mean, you can, but they can be quite tight and you're just going to wreck the component and then it'll make it hard for me to get undone. But look, if you really want to see it, just, just text me and say, look, I've sent my injectors back. Can you please do a video on mine? And we'll do like, we'll call it a, we'll call this one video report or something like that, okay? Video report. So 177K, 2012, so they're seven years old. Spot on the money and the kilometres. Wouldn't have matter if it done more Ks, I don't think. It's all about... The longer trips, they just sort of do it easier. All the shorter trips, you know. It can be 90,000 Ks and they look like this. Well, I haven't seen that yet, but, you know, probably more the older injectors and stuff. But look, those seats starting to erode away in the middle. They're still holding quite well at the moment. Let's turn them over and see what the other side looks like. Because the other side always looks different. Okay. Okay, so they're very clean, which tells me they've probably never been out before. And the seating area was really good. So these weren't about to start leaking soon like some of the others we see. So 177K, they're holding well. I didn't work on this vehicle. It was, a, you know, the, the owner, the DIY, did it himself. Um, I would assume the vehicle looked like it hadn't been worked on and the injectors hadn't been out because they lasted this, this long for that long. I could be wrong, okay? Look, they could have not had the injectors out and checked the valve clearances and contamination, who knows? But look, I, I can't, I don't know what it sounded like. What can't remember what the issue with this was, but... 177k what i will say if you look at the inside of those probably easier to look on the other side they do start eroding away if you look at that one and particularly hang on put in the picture over that side there 12 o'clock it's um sort of eroded away in the middle 
that's not the big issue so that one's doing it as well I'll turn it around 12 o'clock or well, about one o'clock anyway similar i'll turn these all back right same deal i'll turn them all around at 12 o'clock they've all got a bit of erosion on one side well yeah they do all actually so there you go i'm putting all the, er the erosion side at 12 o'clock i'm not sure if you can see that but that's what happens okay so that's normal and eventually that erodes away that way and, and it does thin out what you've got um the meat you've got left to seal okay but that's not usually what causes the problem but these red caps when i send them to you with the injector kit if you bought it off me don't assume they're clean they could have come off new injectors off someone's old injectors these ones have been sent back to me they're dirty that's how they're going to get sent to you i'm not going to spend you know 10 minutes cleaning caps you need to clean them spray carby brake clean or whatever the case may be give them a clean blow them dry so they're clean if you're going to use those to cap your common rail Guys, thanks for watching again. This is Injector Report. You know the deal. Subscribe, turn notifications on, watch more videos. Thanks for watching. See ya.